Jennifer actually ran her first track meet and she was three. Jennifer has always kept her eye on the prize. You could actually tell that she was going to be a, a pretty amazing athlete. Jen Harris may be the best district girl basketball player we've ever seen. I would like to play in the WNBA. That would be really nice. Get a scholarship to college and then go and play in the WNBA. Jennifer actually started getting recruited out of fifth grade. Her first letter that she ever received was from Penn State University. Penn State, we bled blue and white. Penn State basketball coach Rini Portland checking out the CD Harrisburg game. Rini obviously checking in on Penn State recruit Jen Harris. She's an icon. Coach Portland is an icon. Rini Portland, 23 winning seasons at Penn State. In her first 24 years, 20 NCAA appearances, five Big Ten championships. Penn State a chance to take the lead. Harris knocks it down. There she goes again. Oh, yeah. She got fired. 26 points for Jennifer Harris. Harris, she's been hot. She stays hot. Exciting to see what her future will look like. Oh my God, Jennifer got kicked off the team. I told her that I thought it was because she thought I was gay. And she told me, you know my views on that, and I'm not changing, and I'm still going to be the coach of Penn State, and you'll still be going. Rini had come to me and I was told that if your name is involved with any homosexual activities, I will take away your scholarship, kick you off the team, and make transferring impossible. One of my first thoughts was, I can't be on the team then because I was gay. I was with women. I knew my identity. Mm -hmm. I was very comfortable with who I was. I have somebody telling me that I'm going to lose everything because I'm gay. I was basically threatened and backed into a corner, and I felt I had no way out. So it looked like it was a pattern that had been established for long before Jennifer got there. She kept saying, I don't know if I can live with myself if I don't do something. You're going up against, again, like I mentioned earlier, an icon. Are you strong enough at this point in your life to be able to take all the negativity you're going to get when you go up against someone like Rene Portman? What this was was a David versus Goliath situation. It was really two or three lawyers going up against all of the powerful resources that a big university can muster. I do think athletics is one of the last bastions in higher education where homophobia, heterosexism, sexism, racism, all those things are still okay. She was considered one of the best 20 basketball players in the country. She had a pretty good shot at the WNBA. Does she have that now? I don't know.